Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Sam. This is a reading today for Cancer. There are no dates on my readings. I just trust that when it finds you, if it resonates, then it's yours at that time. So Cancer, I've done your reading today with my, um, my mystical shaman blended with the good tarot and one giant stack. So you're going to see a blend of the two decks in your spread today. Um, and we begin your reading here with this gorgeous card, the rattle. It's quickly become one of my favorite cards. Um, it's a, an energy of conjuring or asking because when you shake the rattle, it's meant to be like sending out a signal to the spirit realm, um, conjuring them in or requesting contact, requesting assistance, maybe, um, just a signal that you are receptive and open to what I'm perceiving today with the temptation card coming out beside it as open to and receptive and in fact actively calling in assistance or help um, cancer. This seems to be almost like a, um, a flare being sent out saying that you need assistance, that you're, you, um, you know, cancer can be very secretive and very um, solitary and independent but there's something about these two cards today that are talking to me about that you've kind of uh, run out of reserves in a sense. You're, you're feeling perhaps so drained with this figure draped over this, this apple here. You're just completely drained of life force or out of energy, out of resources. You're out of resources perhaps and you it's it's gotten to the point where you must make it known that you're in need of assistance, right? Which is a really uncomfortable energy, of course. Cancer, especially for you being so private, to make it known that you are in need of help is really difficult for cancer to, for anybody to do, but particularly cancer, right? Um, but what's great, cancer, is that I feel like the moment you make it known that you're in need, of course, you've got all of this energy rushing in response to this call of yours, this conjuring of yours. And it feels like a lot of really feminine energy, almost like being surrounded by a group of women, sisters, mothers, best friends, all this gorgeous, nurturing, female, feminine energy swooping in around you and absolutely um, honoring and seeing your particularly watery or emotional um, need, your emotional needs being, you know, where you may have been, you may be told usually or often that you're um, over emotional or oversensitive, but it's like, the ones that are coming in now to assist you, Cancer, seem to be really respectful of your sensitivities with this handling this butterfly here and her, you know, really, really holding space for you and really seeing you and and not undermining that part of you, that really delicate, sensitive, emotional part of you. It's being almost honored and and focused upon and almost nurtured it's this really gorgeous nurturing of your sensitivities right and then with and with this pachamama card here gorgeous this energy is kind of a, a an overriding energy of all of this i feel like it's a multitude of of people coming in to assist you like i said it's almost like a sisterhood best friends um, and it doesn't have to be all, all women, of course, but it's just a very feminine energy of just this delicate nurturing. So this, this card here is, is this overarching kind of characteristic of the energy that's approaching you. And it's this real motherly caregiver energy that with all of this, this color and energy up here in her, in her inner realm, it's talking to me about that the ones that are coming in to assist you are really connecting with you and saying, I understand exactly what it is that you're struggling with, Cancer. 
um, I've been through a similar process myself or a similar situation myself. It's like it's this one's coming through as just empathy, like intense empathy from the entire group. And I'm saying that it's a group because of these three cards, but also because of this circle card here. It's like you be you're being completely encircled, embraced, um, held. It's completely stunning and gorgeous energy. It's like the the moment, like I said, with this rattle card, the rattle is such a delicate little, it's like you're just, you're just letting it be known in the slightest way that you may need something. And it's like all of this energy is rushing in to surround you and embrace you, Cancer. Right? You're being, you're being, um, held that's the best way to energetically as well if this is a, this could be a spiritual you know this could be like your your higher self coming in or your your spirit team coming in and surrounding you and i feel like cancer this is if this is a spiritual phenomenon occurring for you if this is an actual physical people stepping up in your life this isn't just a a message of you know you're never alone and you know, there, there's always assistance around you spiritually. This is being experienced by you in a really visceral way. If you are, are calling out for help energetically, it's like I feel like you're actually really physically feeling the presence of the assistance surrounding you. Right? It's not it's not just um, kind of like a hallmark um sentiment coming in saying you're never alone cancer you're you're held you're embraced this is actually really physically you can feel the energy shift in your body when when a higher energy comes in and surrounds you especially when you're asking strongly for assistance you will feel it come in like a wave coming over you like warmth coming over you or um, a sudden lifting or sometimes even like as cold you can feel it as a shiver but you definitely feel a shift and you know that something has changed and then the emotion comes in with it that's the thing it's always accompanied by emotion so i feel like you're having that type of an experience cancer if if not physically literally physically with all these friends and family coming in and surrounding you and making you known that you are the absolute center of their focus it's like everybody's put everything on hold and they're coming in to, to assist cancer at this moment um so if it's not a physical phenomenon like that it's absolutely it's an energetic spiritual one but it's one that you are certain is you're feeling it in a really real way and you know that something is occurring right and you're feeling held and you're feeling the energy shift right so with the hunter energy coming out next, the hunter is such an interesting card because it's kind of this mishmash of imagery that's all overlapping and I find it really chaotic. I find it a really difficult energy to penetrate or understand. It just feels, like I said, like chaos, like a lot of change, a lot of movement, a lot of disorientation. The hunter always, or, or, sorry, also often talks to me about um, an energy that you can't quite rid yourself from. It's like something that's following you. So combining all of that message together, Cancer, I feel like that's what this rattle is connected to. It's like you are or recently have been in the midst of a lot of change or a lot of uh, what you're perceiving as chaos um, energy that you're having a hard time making a, making sense of what's happening. It's like you're not able to perceive it clearly because it's it's too much or it's over it's over stimulating your your sensitivity. You're sensitive, and so it's really kind of overwhelming you to the point of confusion. Is the energy that I'm getting here? So with the three of Earth. It's like, well, it's really interesting, actually. This three of earth is coming in as, um, well, you attempting to perceive this swirling chaos that's surrounding you, but also this really interesting message of you being completely stuck in a circumstance. You are here in this cemented in, unmoving 
energy here. And then here comes all this chaos energy, which you feel like you can't get away from. It's almost, you know, cancer, like big changes sweeping in through your life and you're comfortable where you are and you're not necessarily wanting it. Could be. Or flip that message and, and say you are realizing that you're you're plugged into something that you're ready to move on from because it's feeling stagnant. But when you look out at the possibilities or what should I do next or where do I go, it just is this chaos energy. It's overwhelming. You don't know which direction to go in. So, but basically um, reducing it down to you're at a change point in your life. Your eminent change or change has already arrived in your life. And you're perceiving it as maybe scary, chaotic, disorienting, and like something that you can't quite get away from with the hunter energy, right? And it, uh, clearly it's been uh, really draining on your energy, really impacting you probably because it's getting you so emotional. And when your emotional body is really overstimulated, it will drain you so quickly. So that seems to be where you are, Cancer. Um, whatever this energy represents in your life. So, Five of Earth talking about... It's like you... Um, it's interesting because... Let's see. This three of earth, it's like you, you're looking out, you're seeing this hunter energy approaching you. You, you know, you're, you're actually facing it in a sense. You're face to face with this hunter energy. But then here with this five of earth, it's like you turn away, you turn your gaze down, you turn your, it's like, it's like that overwhelming. I can't deal with it. And so I'm going to just shut down energy. That's what seems to, you've been through that part of the process where it just became too much and you shut down. But it's like there's nowhere to go. It feels to me like there's nowhere to go. And so you shut down and you may stay there for a while, Cancer, but at some point you have to come back up. You have to you have to lift your gaze again and every this is this is that you can't get away from it energy. Every time you do, the hunter is still there. This energy is still there. So yes, you can you can cut off your awareness and go into, you know, this sanctuary, this inner sanctuary, or even just denial of what's occurring in your, in your life. And you can feel really safe there and really quiet and still. But at some point, you have to come back out of that. And when you do, it's still there, right? It's, it, it needs to be moved through or allowed to move through. You need to allow it to move through, perhaps. Um... But what, what's really interesting is these two cards out next, the giveaway and the drum. There's something here about how we started your reading with, with the asking. It's like cancer. You have been maybe for quite some time going back and forth between these two energies, maybe trying to stand up to or confront this energy, being too overwhelmed and then going back within. And, and cycling through that over and over again, right? Like I said, cancers like to uh, keep to themselves, deal with their own stuff, you know, not really let it be known what they're going through. So this is this internal state that you've been in for a while. Um, but opening your reading, it's like you've changed. Something has changed about that where you realize that you just can't do it anymore and you're finally asking for some sort of assistance, be it spiritual or actually literally with your friends and family. That's what's being represented here in this giveaway in the drum card, right? It's like that, just handing it over, keeping it, you know, it's like you've been keeping it to yourself, hiding it in a sense, and now you're finally letting it out, letting it go, giving it away in a sense, saying, you know, Please take this from me. Please help me with this. But what's really fascinating to me about this is in giving that energy away, what's being given to you in return is the drum energy, which is really fascinating, right? Which is kind of, it's kind of an interesting expansion or continuation maybe of this rattle energy. Like you're starting with the rattle and you're moving up to the drum. 
The rattle is like asking for assistance. The rattle is getting the energy moving, right? It's like, it's like going from um, complete lockdown stillness or denial or avoidance to at least some movement, some, a, sh a shift, a change, approaching it in a different way. But, and then um, stepping up to the drum energy, which I was trying to say is like, You're being handed the drum by these energies here, these ones who are assisting you. You're being handed empowerment, I guess, in a sense. You're being, maybe because, oh, that, this is so beautiful, Cancer, the drum. It's like knowing that you are not alone, knowing that you are part of this circle, that you are being held, that you do have support, that you are seen and honored and respected and acknowledged and that, um, you know, that this hunter energy is not just, you know, an oversensitivity on your part. It's actually a really real phenomenon that needs, you know, that is really intimidating and overwhelming. And that's being, um, what's the word validated it's being validated by these others which is like the drum being handed to you the they're you're they're empowering you they're saying cancer we are here for you but you must face this and here's how you do it you do it with us as your backing in a sense right knowing that you're not alone and knowing that you're completely justified in everything that you're feeling perhaps so the drum, if, you, if I didn't say, the drum is like the circle. That's the, that's the instrument that is being handed to you. That's the tool that's being given to you by all of these gorgeous women that have come in and embraced you. They're giving you your, your they're empowering you to, you know. Well, these cards don't pick up on the camera as well as my other cards, but you know, this drummer here is is racing in to face this hunter energy it's like if, if it's because it's like you're matching it more your energies are more matched here cancer you were more um timid or delicate you know feeling vulnerable feeling a need to hide but here it's like you are just as potent and dynamic as the hunter energy you can meet it without it overwhelming you see what i'm saying it's like you've ri you've risen up in your confidence maybe to the point where they're not scary to you over anymore overwhelming it doesn't have to be a person it could just be circumstances this is so basically you're getting your confidence back you're getting your confidence back and you're able to face this thing circumstance situation that you've been avoiding for a really long time and it's it's what's giving you the confidence are all these people in your life who are telling you that they've got your back that they're with you that they support you that you know anything you need they're there for you and so you're not feeling so alone and you're feeling also um justified because there's something here about this cycle of of going inward and and then coming and trying to face it, but then being overwhelmed. That feeling of of recycling through cycling through of uh, uh, overwhelming and then hiding and denying and then coming out and then being overwhelmed. That cycle that you've been through has really knocked your self confidence and your self worth, and that seems to be what is being returned to you with this this gorgeous group that are coming into to embrace you is that they're they're helping you find your confidence your self-worth and your self-value again and then with this jaguar card coming out next beautiful because jaguar talks about instinct and knowing that even you know in the dark scary jungle you are the jaguar and that you can move through the uh, shadowy jungle and you are untouchable, you are instinctual and you are like the top of the food chain. Like nothing can really impact you, cancer. Like it's talking about self-empowerment self to the point of feeling invincible 
And so we're suddenly this hunter energy is almost, you know, being overwhelmed or chased away by you. You know, it's like no more tiptoeing around it. Not only that, but it's like just this confidence that because there's something here about the chaos and the disorientation. There's something about not um, needing to be able to see clearly, just knowing that in every moment, whatever comes at you, you will have the instinct to to know what to do and either meet it or dodge it. It's a completely kind of primal, intuitive animal instinct that's coming up out of you, supported by these ones, supported by your circle. That's what the drum energy is. It's like this drumming up of your gorgeous jaguar spirit. And then the chariot next, it's like the chariot here combined with this jaguar is just talking about moving, is talking about finally breaking free of this. It's like there's there's been something in your life, Cancer, that is just it's like it's been haunting you for a long time and it's been kind of scary and it's been overwhelming and you just haven't wanted to deal with it. And you've reached this critical point where you finally reached out for help. And it's the amazing thing is the help that came in basically just buoyed you up, gave you confidence reminded you of your own inner strength and that is what's that is what's going to break through and get you through this and bring back your drive to move forward because it seems like cancer you have been avoiding movement because every time you uh move hunter is right there so it's like you just you haven't been moving you know I, i'm okay right here where i am i, I don't need to move really right but it's like movement is coming back. You're absolutely finally breaking free of this hunter energy and moving on to something, something hunterless. So Cancer, I'm going to continue to pull cards, see what else we can find out. If you're interested in the extended, link is in the description box. If not, I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.